An undocumented woman in Louisville says she's sharing her struggles now with health care in hopes of helping others. Thank you for staying with us right here at 530. I'm Doug Prophet. She talked to Focus investigative reporter Paula Vassan, who connected her with a local nonprofit helping to remove health care barriers. That woman calls the result life changing. Immigration officials around the country are continuing to deport undocumented immigrants. Because this report involves a woman who is undocumented, we are blurring faces and not revealing full names. This is out of consideration for the family's privacy and security. 37-year-old Luce is grateful to be alive, relieved her most recent kidney surgery will give her more time with family. But there's been a growing weight on her shoulders. Pues es difícil, la economía. Because without health insurance, the bills add up fast. During this interview, she told us she owed more than $30,000. Son sentimientos de miedo, de saber que si te enfermas, ne, la zozobra y la incertidumbre de dónde vas a ir, qué médico te va a atender. She already works 12-hour days cleaning houses. She'll have to work even harder. It worries her daughter. How is she going to be able to pay for the bills when, you know, she may be in recovery? She immigrated to Louisville from Colombia to give her daughter a better life. Porque Colombia es un país lleno de violencia y de falta de oportunidades laborales. She says she immigrated legally with a six-month visa, but it expired about seven years ago. She says renewing could mean separation from her family. It's a lengthy, risky process. Es difícil hacerlo. No health insurance means she delays seeking medical attention until the pain is unbearable. I know that her job is very a lot of physical work and she doesn't get the, day, the yearly checkups that she needs. The struggle Luce is facing when it comes to health care isn't unique. Especially in this neighborhood with a large Latinx population and many undocumented immigrants say their struggle isn't only about medical costs, there's also a fear factor. There's a lot of legitimate fear about revealing whether or not you have the legal standing to be in this country or not right now. Melissa Mather is a spokesperson at Family Health Centers in Louisville. It's a nonprofit community health center with a single mission. To provide preventative and primary care services to anyone regardless of the ability to pay. Serving a community that often lacks support. How is COVID-19 perpetuating this problem? COVID-19, I think, exasperates um, already existing health inequities. In the past seven months, between 10 and 18 percent of COVID cases in Louisville have been from the Latinx community, but they represent only 4.5 percent of the population. And not only are they disproportionately hit by COVID, they're also less likely to have health insurance. About 40% of our Hispanic Latino patients lack health insurance coverage. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the uninsured rate among the Latinx population in Kentucky is 20%, the highest of any ethnic or racial category in the state. Mather says her goal is to remove health care obstacles, not only during a pandemic. And if you live at or below poverty, we're going to ask you to pay a $20 fee for your doctor's visit. Following this interview, we connected Luce with Family Health Centers. The result? We were able to connect her to our Outreach and Enrollment Office, whose specific work is to help people enroll into Medicaid or other health insurance options. It's temporary health insurance approved in Kentucky by the federal government in light of COVID-19. It covered all her recent surgery and hospital bills. I'm really happy that we were, we were able to help her, but I think there's probably a lot of other people out there that we want to be able to help too. Luce and her family hope others who need medical care don't struggle in silence. It helped a lot. Really, really grateful. For anyone seeking health care during this pandemic, you can find links to resources on our website, whas11.com. For Focus, I'm Paula Vassan. By the way, you heard the term Latinx in Paula's story. Latinx has become an inclusive term to refer to people of Latin American descent. It describes people who don't want to be identified by their gender. It's used as an alternative to Latino or Latina.